Welcome to Adrenaline and welcome to the Red Conference. Uh, I am Marjorie Rollins. I'm the Executive Director for the Health Data Standards Program at the Regan Street Institute. We are absolutely thrilled that you are here, whether you are attending here in person or uh, virtually. Thank you for coming. Uh, our conference theme, Dragging Change, the Work Continues, is the perfect thing for people like us. We are the, the professionals, the patients, the clinicians, the consumers, and the thought leaders who develop, deploy, and use data and our standards to promote interoperability and to improve health and health outcomes. If you joined us at our October 2022 meeting, then you'll recognize and note that the conference theme is similar to the theme from last year. And that is because the pursuit of driving change is a long game. And we continue to work together collectively towards that goal and make incremental progress in the interim. And that is why we are here. We have an outstanding program planned for you over the next few days that gives us the opportunity to dialogue, exchange thoughts and ideas on how we are implementing LOIC, using data and other standards to drive change and to improve health and health outcomes for patients, families, and communities. Before we move further, it's imperative that we extend sincere thanks to our conference sponsors uh, who make it possible with their generous support. So our title sponsor is Cepheid and our bronze sponsor is Animo Informatics. We are grateful for your sponsorship, your confidence in our work and your participation in the conference. We also appreciate our supporters who are the lifeline of LOIC and um, the lifeline of our data standards work as well. But we extend sincere thanks to all of our funders and our donors. Your continued and valued support makes the creation and maintenance of LOIC and our other work possible. And thank you to our many volunteers who serve on our, uh, our committees. Our reputation for our high quality work is a direct reflection of your contribution to LOIC and all of our standards initiatives. Um, we also appreciate, appreciate our internal, uh, excuse me, our international stakeholders whose work continues and whose work extends our worldwide adoption. And we appreciate all of you, the user community who gives us purpose and direction. Again, thank you. And now uh, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Rachel Patzer, President and CEO of the Regan Street Institute. Dr. Patzer has some uh, welcome remarks to share with us. Great, thank you so much, Mandri, and good morning, everyone. Uh, it's great to see everybody. Uh, I'm excited to be back in Atlanta. Um, I was in Atlanta for uh, 18 years before moving to Indianapolis uh, to join the Regan Street Institute. So um, I am an epidemiologist by training. Um, I have uh, public health as my background, and so I really understand the value of LOINC and health data standards. Um, I spent a lot of time in my training and uh, as a researcher uh, merging data sets together and trying to identify you know, how I can put different uh, pieces of data together to fit and answer questions uh, to, to drive change. Uh, so I spent a lot of my career uh, as a researcher myself um, trying to chase down data, um, put that together and answer questions and understand how, uh, you know, how we can help patients and populations uh, across the uh, communities uh, to improve access to healthcare or quality of care delivery. So uh, you know, I think one of the things that's really important to me and that led me to Regan Street Institute the story of uh, Sam and Murdy Regenstreif, our founders. So Sam Regenstreif uh, is known as the dishwasher king, uh, was a ph philanthropist and back in 1969. He, after having a personal experience in the healthcare system, um, experiencing really firsthand uh, the inefficiencies and inequities in the health system, healthcare system, 
um, he was really determined to drive change uh, in bringing innovative ideas to the practice of medicine. And I think that really fits the theme of what we're gathered here today to do. So uh, it's really inspiring uh, the, the, you know, back in 1969, uh, Sam and Marty Regenstrief uh, founded uh, and, and had this idea of the Regenstrief Institute uh, that I think has helped really foster and supported a lot of different innovative ideas, uh, of course, one being one of them. So my, you know, we're in the midst of uh, five months in as the, the new president and CEO of Reagan Street Institute. We're about five months into strategic planning and trying to think about um, all the many ways in which our institute can contribute to driving change um, and having lots of conversations about ways that we can do that in, in many, many instances, but like I think is critical to that. Uh, so I think we will continue to, at the Reagan Street Institute, bring uh, innovations to health systems, including healthcare and public health. And I think that's one of the areas where um, I feel very passionate about with my background in public health um, and how do we best uh, think about data systems across not just healthcare, um, but public health, healthcare and communities and bringing that together um, and more quickly get uh, innovations in the practice of um, improving access to care, ineff inefficiencies, um, inequities in care delivery. Uh, one of the other areas that I've spent a lot of time that I think is, is also uh, a theme that we're seeing coming out of our strategic planning that I, I also see some of this in, in LOINC and some of the work that uh, we're doing that we'll, I think, discuss over the next few days as well, is a focus on reducing health disparities and health inequities. So my current background or my, my research background has been, uh, I've done a lot of this work in the Southeast of uh, gathering data to better understand um, inequities, particularly uh, the area where I'm focused a lot is um, reducing uh, socioeconomic and racial disparities in access to kidney transplantation, which in the state of Georgia back in 2010, uh, we had the lowest rates of kidney transplantation in the entire nation and among the starkest racial and socioeconomic disparities in access to transplant. So I spent really much of my career not only trying to use data to understand that problem, but also use data to, uh, to try to address that problem with interventions and did lots of different uh, pragmatic trials and interventions at health systems and community levels uh, to uh, and patient level uh, to try to improve not only access to transplant, but also reduce inequities. Um, and I have seen over the 15 years or so that we've had brought the community together to work on that, that we had uh, through the power of data, uh, we were able to reduce uh, inequities and in access to transplant in the southeastern uh, U.S. Um, and Georgia is no longer the worst state in the nation um, with respect to transplant access. So I think you know this conference uh, and this uh, the driving change. I think the stories of, of that we hear, and I'd love to hear stories if you're around and you see me in the next few days. Tell me some of these stories about how Link has driven some uh, such changes. Uh, but I see a lot of potential opportunities for uh, talking and using this conference about uh, discussing what we have accomplished and what we need to do. Um, and together, I think we play. Uh, an important role in driving change in improving access to care, improving care delivery, um, and, and changing for the better. Uh, <clears throat> health equity and I think delivering high quality care are really core values of the Regan Street Institute, and that has been, as I said, since its inception. Um, and that's why I'm really pleased that we're meeting this week to uh, discuss all of these and, and more. Data and standards such as LOINC um, are really a cornerstone for efforts to address disparities in health inequities. And I think that this room really understands this very well, that data along with standards are essential for identifying those disparities and where they exist, um, but they're also important in where do we direct resources and measure progress towards achieving equity. And so without the data and the uh, adequate data, I think captured with standards, inequities can re they'll remain unseen and unaddressed by interventions. And so I think that this is really critical and where I see a lot of opportunities for the Regan Street Institute is thinking about um, all the advances we have uh, and we want to plan for LOINC and how we can use that to really drive our community's progress and successful steps towards driving this change. So I really want to end with just saying thank you all for gathering. I know that this is an opportunity for us to work together uh, to drive change. And I'm really uh, pleased with uh, the engagement uh, and, and the amount of people who are here and committed uh, to driving this change. So thank you for joining us uh, as we work to advance these changes together.